Alrighty, I got a construction update for you guys today. So we went and flew the drone as Canada's Wonderland is ramping up its construction projects. And I have a lot to discuss today. Some of the things I've held out on, um, I'm going to have to insert them at the end in this video. Actually, it's so funny. I just remembered now. But um, as you can see, Moosehorn Falls Electrical and Plumbing has moved along really nicely. Um, front gate looks like they've hardly done any work, but there's been a lot of electrical um, and infrastructure work on that inner path. So again, a lot going on, even though it doesn't look like it. Um, I, based off of what I've seen in actual person, it looks like the security scanners are going to be directly under Leviathan. So there's a major section underneath Leviathan that has a lot of electrical work laid down almost as if it was going to be like security posts. Um, so what I'm guessing happened is Wonderland tested those new security scanners that were a lot more quick um, and efficient. And then now they're going to actually utilize them. As you can see in front of the Canada's Wonderland store, the foundation has been poured and is covered in the orange tarp. Um, so that is an extension to the front gate store that they are working on. A dumpster has shown um, up outside of the Wonder Mountain and in the rumored launched wing coaster area. Um, in a second, you'll actually see a work truck pick up some of the kind of like caution wood sign there and move it inside the mountain. So definitely keeping um, attention to this area. From what I understand, all that is taking place under that orange tarp actually isn't related to the actual coaster. Um, it is uh, infrastructure work. So um, I did hear that. But outside of that, there are still clear signs that this area is um, moving forward. Again, I'm still hearing January will be the start date. Um, I am hearing a newer rumor about this wing coaster that's really interesting. So I'm going to keep my ears open to that rumor and we'll see how that goes. One thing I wanted to point out um, before I get back into talking about the bat um, at Canada's Wonderland is I've noticed that there is some weird work going on in the Yukon Striker Tundra Twister area. So I do know that Winterfest is experiencing a huge draw um, and we aren't even in the busy period yet. So we are about to be in the busy period yet. And it's funny because this weekend coming is warm and all that. I've noticed that Tundra Twister hasn't been wrapped yet. Um, so I'm going to keep an eye on that. I do not think they're going to open it, but it is really hard to ignore that they haven't wrapped the seats on this ride. Um, all the other closed rides have been wrapped um, or winterized in some sort of format, um, and uh, Tundra Twister hasn't. So uh, I will keep an eye on it. Um, Wonderland has shown in the past that if needed, if there's a huge draw of guests, they'll open up an area to house more guests. And, you know, Tundra Twister was a Winterfest ride, so they might open it uh, just if, if, there, if there is going to be that huge draw. I will say, based off of last weekend, there is not a need to open it if that's going to be the crowd. Other paths weren't extremely packed. So we'll have to see. All right. So over at the bat, we have some really cool work going on. So the chain, and I think it's called the chain dog. Um, correct me down below, any of you enthusiasts, I'm sure you will. Um, that right there has been removed off of the bat. Um, and from what I understand, um, a new chain is arriving or this chain is being shipped out. Um, and, um, some work is going to be done on the bat. We'll have to see what that is, but, um, yeah, I'm kind of excited because, uh, I, it seems like Wonderland's getting a lot of money poured into it again. So I'm really excited to see what the park looks like at the beginning of next season. Cause if you remember the beginning of this season, it was a shocker. Um, but yeah, as you can see here, I wanted to show you guys in detail, the front gate work, um, up close. All right. So that's it for today. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comment down below and I'll try and answer them to the best of my ability. Thanks so much for watching guys. Have a good one. Bye.